Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of our career mode for Arsenal. We're going to get right into it. Uh, a lot's happened already in 12 in-game days. So, David Luiz was already on a pre-contract agreement with Leicester. He's gone. We actually got a budget increase to $127 million. I'm not sure if I want to spend all that for, you know, financial limitations that should be occurring in real life. But, you know, we'll take it as we see it. We had a really awkward offer from Juventus for Pepe with McKinney plus only a little bit of money. So, we said no to that. But holding is out for 20 million or technically 24. Kalasinac is gone for his 6.7, so we got five from that. Uh, El Neni is going to be out for 11, and Guendouzi is out for 23.5 to Napoli. Uh, so these are all decent deals. Uh, kind of hard to say no to any of them. And we did negotiate up on like two or three of these, especially Guendouzi and uh, holding. We definitely got three to five million more per deal by negotiating, so good job from us. Also our first signing, Dakinam Jene. He's from Hetafe, and uh, Hetafe is notoriously stout defensively. This guy was a big reason why him alongside some Uruguayans, including Mauro Arambari, had led that team to Europa League last season, and they did pretty well getting out of the group, and I think even defeating Ajax in that uh, first knockout round. So, good team, good player, and a world-class signing according to FIFA, because he's 82 and over, will complement our defense really well as we shift to this three at the back. Someone's taking me on a date. They want granite chakra. This is already sexy for me. But you know why it's even sexy? because of this copyrighted music I'm hearing that you won't hear. But you'll never guess who's offering me this money. Wait for it. Maybe you'll want to pay 17.5. You and I. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's Unai Emery coming for that. Oh, good evening baby coming for his old toys that is so fine <laughs> arsenal why did y'all fire unai he he needed more time come on i know the results look bad but don't they look worse this year come on how can you say good night to good evening come on so yeah, also Mavropon has got 10 million uh, for an offer here. And yeah, we're going to just accept that. Uh, try to offload Ben Chief as well, but he's been stingy about accepting a contract with those clubs. So but we're going to offload at some point. And guys, this is a big move here because this is real life stuff. Uh, looking at the news feeds as of 18 hours ago, sources say that Ease Basuma tells agents he wants an Arsenal move, baby. Bing, 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 bing. So uh, we're going to go for right the bleep now because yeah, he target he's a target of some teams. So we want to wrap this up. Um, we're gonna probably throw in a, a player swap here too, so that we can keep our numbers down. We've gotten down to 36 players now. Uh, so now I think it's around the time that we uh, start looking at offloading a player or two that won't be in our plans, like a Ben Chief. I think Ben Chief actually was on loan at Brighton last season, so that might make sense. So uh, Ben Chief and 30, are we, are we? I think that's a good deal, right? Oh, they want Gabriel plus 10. Uh, but bro, we've been over this. Didn't you watch episode one? I'm not selling Gabriel. 
not for you to assume it up for anyone. He's a he owe me a monster. We're not doing that. Alright, let's let's try this again. Maybe he wants a different center back. Because I'm definitely not gonna get rid of him. And uh Jenny and him are gonna be our pairing now. So maybe he'll go for uh Saliba? Maybe. Mavropanos is gonna be sold. Ballard is probably two weeks, so Saliba, right? If they want a center back, let's give them a center back. Let's try to keep the deal kind of sort of fair for us. Uh, let's offer 20 plus Saliba. See what he says. Saliba plus 25. You know what? As long as you, as you take off the little interest that you got there, 25 is good. Boom, baby. And I know, I know, I know, guys, the, the future. And, and, and let's be honest, the, the Saliba was never, never seen destined. And, and when the player says they want to play for you, yeah, take them. Those are two good transfers, I would say. We've strengthened the spine of our team. Now we got a buddy for Partey in the middle. Got a little bit of an African flavor going on in this team. I like it. I like it. Togo and Mali, and these are players I've never played with before. Um, so I'm actually pretty excited to see how they work out. And they have some pace to them too, so that's really good for our team. So consider we need we need guys with speed at 343. That's why I dropped somebody like Cody from our, our short list. Connor Cody as much as I like him, but I would have to put him definitely at that that center of the center backs. And then I kind of want my center center back to be actually pretty pacey. Because I want him to be a ball playing center back. So I kind of want to use him in one two scenarios to push him up between my two midfielders in scenarios where we get pressed and I think for that reason alone these two guys are a good start okay ladies and gentlemen and we have a big one another world-class signing Edmund Tapsoba I went back and looked at this dude and he was still sitting at 40 million as his value so we went in we offered our only remaining piece that's kind of like a luxury piece that we weren't going to be able to keep for what we agreed upon in the first episode, which was Torreira. Torreira just seems like his relationship is over with Arteta and Arsenal. So now that he's back, we offered him with 15 to, uh, to 20 million and ended up settling on 25 million for Tapsoba. His value skyrocketed from 40 million to 57.5 after the transfer and they wouldn't let me budge on the release clause they wanted a release clause of double essentially and if you know someone goes for 111 million in our career mode uh you know it is what it is but you know at that point we can buy whoever we want you know um but now having tapsoba jene and gabriel we have three world-class defenders on that back line now we just need to fill in a gap or two as far as like who's going to be the backups. For some reason, Good Evening is still negotiating with Xhaka. I don't know what's up with that. And Ketia's got a loan to buy offer. Um, I, I don't know what to do about this one. I kind of want to say no because I feel like Enketia is our cup, our cups forward, and our you know our you know our guy off the bench when these forwards need a breather, but. Obama Yang's offer came from Liverpool and his max value is 70 million. If they accept 70 million, if Klopp accepts 70 million, I will run with it because it is a 30 plus year old forward getting 72 million that's not named Lewandowski. You know, like I. I will say 70 and see if they come down from there and see what their max is. 54.7 is their highest. If this deal came in just before the Tapsoba idea, I would have maybe considered even a full-on swap. 
between Obama Yang and Joe Gomez? Um, we're gonna have to do one of our few little override decisions of the of the series, and not cave into a direct rival here, because if if they come from any other league, I'll I'll say yes for that same exact value, guys. It's just not, not it's just not fair. It's also not fair. Like I know they're just digital zeros and ones here, but it's just a fan of Vardy. He ends up being the third forward on that team. That's so stupid. Jaka is officially sold, so he is now part of Unai Emery's squad there at VRL. Uh, Chambers has now got an offer from Lille. Lille is doing a lot of business with us. Um, they've already bought someone else on this team. I, I don't know if I can even see him anymore. I know they bought somebody. <laughs> but uh, Chambers... They're offering 9.5, his max is 10.4. I'm going to go ahead and just say yes. I don't want to nickel and dime a smaller team. This is literally a nightmare I didn't want to deal with. As far as the rule set we came with. Can we at least push them close to that 75 million valuation? Let's see who they have. They still have Jordi Alba, who is heavily overrated. They also got Junior Firpo there. Like, uh, man. Of course, Virginia Dest. Who, by the way, in real life, I don't know how they're going to manage Emerson's coming in. Sergio Roberto, Sergio Dest. Like, why do they need three right backs? And how are these guys all supposedly bankrupt that they're signing those players? But I digress. I mean, will they... Will they meet the valuation? 61.9. I mean, that's a lot better than the original offer. And I think... I think maybe if we add the... Uh, let's see if they're good with that. Let's see if they're good with that. Oh, wow. We actually milked another four... Four million out of them. I'm asking for a sell-on clause. Sixty-five guys. Oh, tyranny, tyranny, <laughs> tyranny! I'm gonna have to like uh, marinate on this one. I didn't want to lose them. I didn't want to lose them. <laughs> Okay, Unai's got insane. What is this offer? What is this? Do you think we want to ever see Francis Coquelin again? <laughs> no. <laughs> and he offered him only 20 million pounds. No! <laughs> no! Living in. With the loss of care and tyranny means we have to probably, uh, just, uh, you know, step up our game. We ended up getting Aidara to fulfill the left side center back role that Mulder is going to have. And uh, Runnerson, the goalkeeper, actually left in that deal. So, uh, him plus one million. And uh, we have uh, a pacey wing back for our potential wing back formations and someone that can supplement center back. Uh, because we did pretty much lose our backup goalkeeper at this point without having uh, this uh, guy Matt Ryan from Lone. We brought in veteran Claudio Bravo from Real Betis. Uh, really cost nothing, like 190k. Uh, and I uh, think he's going to do a pretty good job for us. Still starting goalkeeper in Chile, so I still think he has a lot to offer this team and he'll provide some veteran confidence in the event that we lose our starter. If our starter continues to be uh, Leno or not, we don't know yet. Still got a couple of weeks to go in this transfer window. Bremer also coming over from Torino. And I believe, I'm honestly kind of forgetful on who left on this deal. Uh, like I said, I've just been trying to make sure that a player does go. It might have been someone like McGinnis, I believe, like just a backup, backup uh, center back. So we have a valid center back on a replacement for one of our three and 
then him with Haidara and Mulder ends up being our our backup three center backs. Two youth products and one more veteran with the potential of being a left midfielder if we need him to. So between them, also having Barrios come over, he's actually playing in Zenit St. Petersburg, but you know the problem is they don't have a Russian league in FIFA and for some reason they couldn't sign Zenit. So there's a bunch of Russian teams in here, just not with him. So he ends up falling through the cracks to Bayern as a free agent, but we're not going to count that. He came over and Reese Nelson left in that trade. Also Nico De La Cruz coming over and Will Young returning to South America in that deal. Uh, it went to 30 and now we have Nico De La Cruz who is going to be our Smith Rowe from South America. Uh, he's going to be our creative player with him. Uh, and that way we have three good ball uh, ball winners in Basuma, Barrios, and, <clears throat> and Partey. And now we have two creators in Dylan Cruz and Smith Rowe. And of course, you know, Tassoba and Jene. We didn't pick up Anderson in the end uh, because we figured we'd go with someone a little bit younger. Also another Brazilian uh, in Bremer uh, who was actually willing to take a rotation role. That's the other thing about these guys too. In the end, we ended up picking these guys up because they were willing to take sporadic roles on the team, including Bravo. So here we are with Aston Villa. Aston Villa versus Arsenal, first game of the season. This is how we're lined up here. Martinelli, Aubameyang, and Saka up front. De La Cruz, Smith Rowe, Partey, and Pepe in the midfield. Smith Rowe asked to play, and I always play the players that asked to play, or else this would have been Basuma. Uh, and then Gabriel, Tasoba, and Jenny, definitely the strongest part of our team, is definitely the defense. Along with Leno right now, a goalkeeper, this is a quite a formidable line of three with the goalkeeper involved. Let's get into our first game, baby. First game of the season. Arsenal and Aston Villa didn't even look at the Aston Villa team. Alright, man. First game of the season at Arsenal. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm really going to enjoy this uh, Parte Saka partnership, I believe. And so now Saka is going to hand it off to Pepe. Pepe's going to go into the middle here where you have an opening. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't not miss these goals. Not an ultimate, but it's a good save by Martinez. I don't think he knew anything about it, but it hit him on the shoulder. Good, good for him. So far this game's been pretty ugly, but right now Jenny has the ball. Uh, can we salvage that? Okay, we salvaged it, but right now this has been the game for like the last three or four minutes. But we're gonna swing out the Gabriel. Okay, okay. Oh, De La Cruz, De La Cruz has some space here, and that's a nice run from Smith Rowe. I have the whole middle to myself. Shoot, 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 shoot! And uh, they're starting to control the game here, I'm a little scared. And also I noticed that there's no Grealish, but there is Bernardeschi. Bernardeschi? 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 Can I cover Bernard Bernardeschi? Bernardeschi scores. Did not want to give up. Did not want to be the... I wanted to score the first goal, season. I didn't want to get scored on. Ah. Uh, okay. We got this, though. We got... This. I actually don't know if we got this. Uh, I'm a little scared. Uh, they have a lot of the ball. I can barely get it off of them. Just need to get it off of them. All right, good, good. Smith Rowe, Smith Rowe, Smith Rowe. Oh, uh, what am I doing? No, no, no. He just said, oh my God, they ex literally exposed the gap that I pushed my center back out of. That's all on me, but good grief, Charlie Brown. Bernard there she has a brace. Uh, oh, that is a good, that was a good pass for me. That's a good pass for me. We have some space here. Can I get it to get it all bombing in? A bombing in, a bombing in, a bombing top, top right corner. We are now within one. Yes. That deserves a second kick into the net. My god. A bombing bailing us out with a very clutch run. Thomas Partey literally just drove the ball all the way down the field after intercepting that really wayward pass. And it, it all finally comes together. Cutting this down to a one-point game just before the half. And we do go into the half down 2-1. Villa had about 58% percentage, and I'm kind of expecting that for this entire series. Just because of his ultimate difficulty, these guys do not let the ball go easily. 
Uh, when they do, you have to you have to counterattack well, which we did on number one goal. Uh, but we also gotta let stop Bernadette from dancing within or uh, between my defenders, which uh, we also just did well. So let's see what we can do here. We got an early move with Dela Cruz. Dela Cruz, Dela Cruz. We're gonna cut it in the middle again. No, I think he might be offside. Oh no, Martinelli's not offside. So okay, let's try to do something with this. Parte, parte, parte. Uh, I didn't want to go backwards, but all the runs were covered. Smith Rowe, back to Aubameyang. Aubameyang are having playing as a false nine. Try to provide a little bit more depth and have the wingers cut in. This is a nice one for Martinelli. And I really like the way we're all actually playing right now. Oh, that would have been offsides though. That's okay. That's fine. But so far, so good. Oh, really great tackle in the midfield here. Here's a break. Here's a break. Here's a break. Uh, we got numbers. Actually, we got numbers here. We got numbers. Can I get it over to the wide line? Uh, Martinelli. Martinelli. Get it back to him. Oh my god. This defender with a clutch tackle. To block that ball, but we got the ball still. De La Cruz. That's a good switch to Saka. Let's try to get somebody wide here. Oh, Pepe. He's behind. He's behind. He's behind. Shoot. Oh my god. He went in. Near post. We are at 2-2 now. Oh my. Oh my. Pepe. Pepe deceptively fast to get around that defender. You kinda just expect the defenders to catch up sometimes. But in this case, we well that first touch was all we needed to make sure that would happen. Uh, now we're gonna bring in Basuma. See how he plays, because this is gonna be the first time I'm playing with him, but hey, 2-2. Two, two. We can win this. Oh boy, so uh, the game's getting a little rough here, so we made some changes. Martinelli's out. Uh, we brought in uh, Willick on the left. So this is a good move. Pepe, Pepe's been so weird. Oh, this is Smith Rose moment. Oh my god, it's Smith Rose moment. It's gone. Sokka has the ball still. We have Basuma. Basuma forces a save. It's back to Emmy Martinez, and he's just gonna clear it randomly out. We still have it. We still have it. Sokka with the ball. Basuma. I like this pressure. We have a third goal. Until I made a decision. Aubameyang should have ran diagonally. That would have been an easy goal. But they kind of stayed on top of each other on the same line. Making defense really easy. And this could be dangerous. Here comes Villa. Here comes Villa. El Ghazi. El Ghazi. We gotta stop these guys. Oh my. Oh my. What is that? It's that pass. Okay, but Watkins has it on the wing. He's gonna probably give it back. Yeah, he gave it back to El Ghazi. Oh, he's just dancing with me. He's just dancing with me. Target. Or target. Whatever. Oh my god, Watkins with the ball again. Sanson. McGinn. Bernadeschi. Oh no. Stop him. Stop him. Okay, good. Stop. Why does he still have the ball? Watkins, 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 Watkins. Stop him. Stop him. Oh my god. Leno bails me out with a save. And I think I will take out Pepe now, who might be struggling a little bit as I have him retreating to play defense as well. Oh my goodness! What was that? How hard was this header? Oh my, Sokka. Sokka with the save of the season. In the first game of the season. Oh, we gotta hold this pressure. We gotta hold this. Okay, now we gotta clear. And Dela Cruz is there. Man, Dela Cruz has been kind of drawing on the spot on this left side. Oh, we are in injury time. You know what? We're just gonna take it. We're gonna take it all the way. Here comes the goal. Here comes the winning goal in injury time. Here we go. Here we go. Dela Cruz. It's gone. That was probably our best chance. Yeah, and the game's over. But, you know what? A 2-2 draw when you're down 0-2 on this difficulty. Mind you, uh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Uh, even with some of the minimal sliders I, I put in. Uh, uh, man, uh, Villa put up a fight. I'm kind of concerned about playing bigger teams later on. But for right now, I'll take the 2-2. And uh, we'll move. Yeah, we'll move on from here and say thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you think I'm doing so far. Let me know who you think you would like to see in an Arsenal jersey this coming season, and I'll try to fit them in. Right now, I'm trying to keep my budget pretty like open to allow for these type of suggestions, and I kind of want you guys to help me drive the team too. Uh, so. As far as on the field, I know you guys can't control that, and uh, I, I try to do my best to try to get some better results in the tie. Because we won't get top four with 
ties at home. But let me know in the comments how I'm doing and who you'd like to see. For now, I'll see you guys next time for the true beginning of the season and the end of the transfer window.